Hello and welcome back to another library reads. This is what we picked out this week. We've got Hungry for Numbers and the Bebop Express. So this is one here. Now let's start with Hungry for Numbers. Now this is actually, as you can see, it has the title Galoza di Numeri and Hungry for Numbers as a kind of subtitle on this. This is because this book is actually um, a bilingual book. It's Italian and English. So perfect for my kids. Um, it's also very simple. So if you are um, Italian and teaching English, or you are English and teaching Italian, uh, it can work either way as an introduction to the language and things as well. It's basically a counting book. But it also deals with food because they're hungry for numbers. So we've got kid farming. We are hungry. Kids farming in Italian is hungry. Um, anyway, so then it carries on. So you've got one and then you've got una banana. E per mia sorella Oriana. One banana. So as you can see, the main part of the text is actually in Italian um, in this book. And then you've just got the, the number and the fruit. In English on it and then you've got the nice big picture um, on there as well and it goes on like this um, throughout the book um, where he's getting various different fruit for various different friends and family members um, I think so it could be a nice introduction also to family members in Italian if you're doing those um, anyway very very simple um, and let's get through to the end. Get as close like a style of illustration there. Um, oh, can't turn pages today. But anyway, so they have lots of fun counting on this fruit. And then at the end, there you can see you've got the numbers. And again, you've got them written in Italian and then written in English as well. So it was a very simple book, um, nice one for my kids who are Italian English bilinguals, um, particularly for my little guy, he, um, he thought it was good, it made the connections um, for him again between one language and the other one because he, he they, well, basically growing up bilingual they absorbed both languages and um, so when they're little, they don't really question the difference between them. And he's now, he's getting to that stage, he's almost five. So he's getting to the stage where he's, he actually divides it, Italian and English. So um, this book was actually quite good for that. So uh, anyway, yes, not bad. So that's that one. Then we have the Bebop Express. This one right here, as you can imagine, this is dealing with like jazz music and uh, places like New Orleans. Um, now, we actually really, really like this one. Um, not only was it a nice little discussion about um, types of music and things, but um, it's also good if um, you're doing um, project maybe on jazz music and, and things and where it came from because there is you've got the sax man who's going around and so he drops by Philly and there's the street performers there and stuff and um, basically just on this train ride he's picking up different peoples uh, with various different talents um, for this kind of music and then they end up having this big old party in New Orleans at the end um, show you the kind of pictures here. Uh, the text is actually all in rhyme as well, which was nice. We do like a good rhyming book. Um, but anyway, so that's there. As you can see, there's a slightly different kind of illustration for picture book from the ones that we've had more recently. There's a lot of detail and things to it. Um, and the colours, it's very it's dark, but it's colourful at the same time. Um, so anyway, yeah, we liked that one. It was um, a good talking point, um, this, for various different things. 
and um, again, yeah, we like the rhyming and that kind of stuff as well. So happy with this week's picks. They went down well. So again, that's Golosi di Numeri, which is hungry for numbers, and the Bebop Express. I have to say, I'm really pleased that the kids are picking out um, slightly more alternative uh, picture books recently. Um, it, it's nice to, to mix things up every once in a while. So anyway, if you know of any good books that we should be checking out from the library, then please let me know in the comments below and uh, I will do my best to uh, find them. Um, also, if you've read either of these books, or particularly if you have any suggestions for other bilingual books that you think we should check out, then also let me know about those as well. And don't forget to hop on over to jolienstead.com and join in all the bookish fun going on over there as well. Um, that's it for, day, for today. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.